Remember Coulomb's law? Electric charges feel a Coulomb force when they're in the vicinity of an electric field. In this case, the electric field across the length of the satellite, so we put that here, will produce a Coulomb force on the electrons. And so here, F Coulomb is the electric field times the charge, and in this case, the electric field is acting on an electron, so we have to fit a minus sign here in front. Since the Coulomb force is negative in this case, it, that means it points in the opposite direction as the electric field, meaning the Coulomb force is in the opposite direction as the Lorentz force, because we had F Lorentz pointing downward, and this Coulomb force is in the upper direction, in the opposite direction as E applied, F Coulomb, so that will push the electrons upwards, because now we have two opposing forces. The electrons feel the Lorentz force first, and then as they migrate, the Coulomb force starts to grow, because there's more and more separation of charge. So once enough electrons have migrated, the Coulomb force exactly cancels the Lorentz force, and the free electrons stop drifting. So when F, there should be a vector there, F Coulomb is equal to F Lorentz, electrons stop migrating. So at this point, once they stop migrating, we can equate the Coulomb and the Lorentz forces in the metal exterior of the satellite. So we can say minus E electron, that's for the Coulomb force, is equal to minus E for the Lorentz force U cross B. And then we can cancel the negative sides, signs and the electric charge. And that gives us E is equal to U crossed with B. What might be of more interest to us is this V induced that results from all the electron migration. We can solve for the induced voltage, the EMF, between the ends of the satellite by integrating the electric field along a line extending across the length of the satellite. So we have V induced is equal to V the same here as V EMF, and that is equal to integrating along L, which is the length of the satellite, and E dot DL. And if we integrate the electric field, and if the electric field is equal to U crossed with B, then we, if we want this to still be equal, the left and the right sides, then we should also integrate the U cross B. So I'm going to have L uh, length of satellite, and I'm going to say U cross B, and this is the applied B field. Uh, and that's all also dotted with DL, which goes along the satellite length. So now we can plug in our numbers. So we can calculate V induced is uh, U, which was 7,800 meters per second, times the B field, which is 50 micro, um, micro Tesla, so 10 to the minus 6 Teslas, and then times the length, it's integrated over the length. The length was given as 10 meters, and so all in all we get 3.9 volts. So let's take a step back here. Is this a value that we need to worry about for the satellite or the operation of the satellite? Well, not really. This is a much smaller than the value we got earlier for the EMP on an airplane, for example. And also satellites are subjected to a lot of radiation in space, a lot more than an airplane closer to the ground. And they are designed, the satellites are designed to be able to withstand a lot of radiation. So this induced EMF is not expected to cause any problems for the operation of our satellite. 
But what is interesting about this discussion is that we can induce a voltage across a conductor that is moving in a magnetic field. So if I were to, you know, just imagine this as a wire and it's moving in the background B, so this is conducting wire, so it's moving this direction U, then if we were to connect a resistor between the two ends of this conducting wire, then a steady current would start to flow through the resistor. And that current, I, would be equal to V induced over R. And in other, so in other words, a moving conductor in a background magnetic field is a generator. We'll get more into this a little bit later. Take out your in-class project notebooks and make a note about how an induced EMF is set up across the satellite as it moves in the Earth's magnetic field. Make sure to describe both the Lorentz and the Coulomb forces felt by the electrons on the satellite.